Um, mental health has been a part of my life probably my whole life, not that I really knew it, but um, I started struggling in high school around like senior year, um, stupid boy, mm -hmm. and then um, it just kind of like escalated from there. Um, since I've been at St. Joe's, I've kind of just relied on my friends a lot. I'm, they're my biggest support system. If I'm having a bad day, I'll just kind of call one of them up and say like, hey, I'm not doing too hot. Like I just need a minute or so. Like we can just go to Starbucks and hang out. And that's kind of how I get out of my funk. Once I started making friends at St. Joe's, I started relying on them and then they opened up to me and it's become kind of a community of just my friends. And I think that through my time here at St. Joe's, I've like found myself within my mental illness, not like hiding from it or running away from it, but um, being able to talk about it and being really open about it. It's something that is so hard to talk about, um, but once you do talk about it, it's you're immediately closer and you have this amazing connection that is might not be the best thing for your mental health, but like you can talk it out and you can figure it out amongst your friends and it's that's really helpful. I've learned how to cope with it and I don't, I'm not ashamed that I have a mental illness and I don't like, I don't get upset when somebody's like, oh, you're depressed. Well, yeah, I have depression. It's not that I am depressed, but I have depression. It's a chemical imbalance in my brain and that's all it is.